Welcome to Shockwave Therapy for Peyronie's Disease. Yes, no, or maybe. In this 15-minute educational webinar, we will discuss the pathogenesis and treatment options of Peyronie's disease. We will then review the studies on the use of shockwave therapy for Peyronie's disease and discuss future directions. Please be advised that this webinar does contain graphic images. I am Dr. Judson Brandeis, board certified urologist and chief medical officer for Affirm Science and director of clinical excellence for Gainswave. In Peyronie's disease, scar tissue forms under the skin of the penis on the lining of the corpora cavernosa. These plaques of scar tissue can cause pain and cause the penis to bend or become indented during erections. The plaques make the penis shorter and less flexible and typically force the penis to curve upward when it stiffens. Peyronie's disease occurs in about six out of every 100 men between the ages of 40 and 70. The likely cause is a minor injury to the penis that slowly creates scar tissue. 80% of the time, patients cannot identify when this injury occurs. Occasionally, Peyronie's disease will go away without being treated. Over the years, many oral and injection therapies have been tried for treating Peyronie's disease. Studies have shown no effect with vitamin E, tamoxifen, or colchicine. Potaba may have some impact, but the cost and side effects of the medication may not be worth the benefit. Verapamil and interferon injections have shown mild improvement. The illustration on the left shows the normal penis and then one with fibrous scar tissue infiltrating the corpora cavernosa. The membrane lining the corpora cavernosa is unique in the body in that it can withstand very high blood pressures, but it is still able to stretch. However, when fibrous scar tissue is present, that part of the penis is no longer able to stretch, and so when there's a size discrepancy, curvature occurs. The initial injury to the tunica albuginea generates increased fibrinogen and local inflammation, which then causes a myoblastic differentiation and then deposition of excess collagen, resulting in a scar. Normal collagen fibers are typically well organized and parallel. On the left, you can see normal collagen in the tendon with a nice parallel arrangement. On the right is collagen and scar tissue, which is very disorganized and haphazard. An FDA approved treatment for Peyronie's disease in patients with a palpable plaque is Zyaflex, which is an enzyme that dissolves collagen. Studies demonstrate a 33% improvement in curvature versus 20% for placebo. However, side effects include the risk of penile fracture and hematoma. In addition, patients are not allowed to have sexual activity of any sort between the first and second injections of the treatment cycle and for four weeks after the second injection of the treatment cycle. Shockingly, each injection costs around $4,000 and most patients require between four and 10 injections. You can see from the animation that Zyaflex is injected directly into the plaque. Another option is surgical excision of the plaque with placement of a patch to close the defect and straighten the penis. The other surgical technique is plication, which is placing stitches which will make the longer side shorter to match the scar tissue, straightening but shortening the penis. Shockwave therapy is a new option for Peyronie's disease. On the left, you can see collagen from scar tissue, and on the right, you can see normal collagen. The goal would be to convert the collagen on the left to the collagen on the right. There is no standard treatment protocol for Peyronie's disease, but what I recommend is to treat with the standard protocol for erectile dysfunction and use extra shocks with a narrow probe on the penile plaque. I perform weekly or bi-weekly treatments for 6 to 12 weeks. It is essential to perform penile stretching with a penile pump 3 to 5 times per day for at least 3 minutes per session. Other adjunctive treatments include CoQ10 300 mg a day, intralesional verapamil, and platelet-rich plasma. There are multiple articles in the literature that report on using shockwave therapy in the management of Peyronie's disease and it is beyond the scope of this webinar to go through them all. The conclusion of the studies seem to show a reduction in pain from shockwave therapy, and it is controversial as to whether there is a reduction in curvature. 
My thoughts on improving results after critically evaluating the literature are to increase the number of shocks and frequency of treatment with a more narrow treatment tip. Use penile stretching several times per day during the course of treatment. Consider using supplements like CoQ10, Potaba, and L-carnitine, or try intralesional Veratmil or PRP or stem cells. Thank you for watching this webinar, which has been supported by Affirm Science and Affirm Nitric Oxide Boosting Supplements that are the official nitric oxide boosting supplements of Gainswave. Please visit affirmscience.com to support our efforts and to learn more.